Hello, Pisces. Let's do your reading and let's find out what's going on for Pisces in love, in life, and everything in between. Pisces. You have testing the waters, awakened, and uncertainty. Before making a big decision, they want to test the waters and make sure you feel the same in the spring. Yeah, so this could be a new person, um, new acquaintance, yeah, who you will be meeting, who you will, you will try to get to know. And there is that um, testing the waters phase. Yeah. A weekend, they have done their work and want to take a leap of faith for love in a few months. And uh, uncertainty is not knowing how you feel about them makes hold back their feelings and they want certainty okay you know what pisces i'm getting that this could be one energy with one person yeah it's more like you would likely be meeting with someone someone new or someone you know but there is a phase of testing the waters trying to see if the shoe fits yeah and um this person could be expressing how they feel about you or their intentions towards you um, clearly, but on the other hand, they might be sure of their intentions towards you, but there could be a little bit of uncertainty about how you feel about them, and they are they don't know that. You know, so it's more like probably you would be giving um, some sense of uncertainty towards someone who is quite interested. Yeah, to someone who is willing to take a leap of faith of love to you. Because this person looks to be, seems to be an awakened person, a ready, ready for love type of person. Yeah. And don't forget the fact that in the beginning you would have that um, getting to know phase, um, reacquainting or acquainting and reacquainting. It's going to happen in the spring, so it's coming up, Pisces. <laughs> All right, let's um, check your tarot. What do we have for Pisces? Decisions, decisions. And making decisions. Yeah, it's more about decision. You're not in a hurry. <laughs> I see you're not in a hurry for love. You're not in a hurry to make a decision on relationships, perhaps. This could be you waiting for something to transpire from the past before making a new decision for what's coming coming up now or soon. Why the Seven of Pentacles? Yeah. It's not to say that you're not interested in love. Definitely you are. You're interested in relationship. You're interested in... Um, pursuing a thriving type of connection a connection where you feel like you can build a life with someone yeah you may not have told anybody about that or you're not really telling everyone around that hey i'm looking for a relationship or hey this is what i want you're not really thinking about that but i mean you're not really expressing verbally but in your mind possibly even in your heart you want to expand in the relationship sector. You want to, um, you want all of that. Yeah, you want all of that. You want a relationship. You want a partner um, that you can hug, you can talk, and all that. I re even for some, it's a family, something like that. But as of the moment, you are at the stage of yes, I want all that, but. What I have right now, is it going to bring me to that dream? Is it going to bring me to that outcome? So that's probably why there is that Seven of Pentacles energy, evaluating, taking some time to evaluate things before making a confirmed decision. Yeah. You have someone, Pisces, who is um, pretty much in love with you or... This could even be a new one, yeah, a new connection for some. 
But this is an energy of somebody who is looking for a deep connection. So for some of you, especially for those of you who are not really with anyone right now, you might meet a new person who is sort of ready for love as well. A person who is ready for love. We have the lovers there and the two of ones. So a person who is deciding that they want that. Okay. So the testing the waters there could very much so would mean that in, in connecting with you, there is a possibility of some form of disagreements, you know, or for some of you, adjustments. They could have some characteristic that you don't really agree in the beginning. But again, testing the waters would mean that if you feel like this water is not good enough, then you leave right away. No, it's more like discussing it, seeing it through, giving it, you know, a few more chances to see. Meaning, don't judge it right then and there. Yeah, because before making a big decision, they want to test the waters and make sure you feel the same. So it's both sides, right? I'm sure you would also want that um, the person that you will be spending your life with for long is someone that is well suited for you. And that is what this person is also looking for. So there could be a little bit of adjustments just because, you know, you're two individuals who are who have different upbringings, um, different backgrounds and all that. But well, one thing here is that you both want expansion in relationship. Or you could even be both wanting relationship. Yeah. So you got to find a way on how to reach there. I feel like this person would be very, um, will be open yeah, to tell you what they truly want. Yeah, if they want a relationship, they'll tell you right then and there. Or it's pretty clear. When you deal with this person, it's going to be pretty clear. You will see it through their actions, the way they talk, the way they ask you questions, you will know. What is the Ace of Swords here? Giving it time. Yeah. Before that decision is made, definitely you have someone here who is ready to make a decision for love, a decision to be in a relationship, but they do want to give it time. Again, the testing of the waters could also mean that um, there could be some conflicts, a little bit of here and there, uh, power struggles in both sides, Yeah, but it doesn't have to break up the relationship. It's still part of that getting to know each other, whether you're good and well-suited for each other. Okay. Taking the time to get to know each other, Pisces. Giving the chance, giving um, the acquaintance, if you're acquainting with a new person, giving some time to really get to know that person. Yeah. Or if, for some of you, if you are already um, in a relationship with someone and that you have decided to get engaged, for example, there is that sense that, hey, We've stamped it. We are engaged. I feel like you could even be sort of evaluating it. Are we heading towards marriage? The answer there is yes, but you, you still want to take some time to really get to know this person. To see whether, are there still anything that I'm missing before I finally say yes yeah, to everything? <laughs> okay, Pisces. King of Wands here. What is this for? We have, um, wow, King of Pentacles and the Knight of mm -hmm. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords. I'll talk about that later. 
But here I see that um, whoever this is you're dealing with, it looks like this is a person who is really all in who could really be all in in terms of them wanting to pursue and build a life with you build a relationship with you yeah getting married you know that's a very this two very kingly energy that they're bearing um speaks a lot yeah and they want to take action to make sure that from here on them and you pisces are going there yeah, going to that type of relationship. And they will show you how much they love you. More so, I'm, I'm seeing that um, they could be speaking the right, all the right words yeah, to tell you how much they love you. They love you day and night and all that. That's like, um, you know, charm you in yeah, in order for decisions to be quickly made. Um, the thing, but the thing with the Knight of Cups is that, yes, it is loving, charming, you know, hugging you every now and then. But then look at that, the cup in this deck, the cup is empty. So sometimes a person would be saying all the right words, but you want to see, you know, check their energies, check their actions uh, in order for you to really get the 100%. Of the time that is why you need to test the waters that is why you need to take some time you know give it a little bit more time to get to know someone especially if it involves decision at some point yeah but i wouldn't really worry so much about that because the king of cups is here so it looks like <laughs> you will have a happy ending here pisces if this is resonating with you you will have a happy ending because in as much as we see here knight of cups the outcome you have the king of cups again you know it's an empty cup but this is a king a king doesn't show their emotions but more of they know how to handle their emotions from the get-go yeah they're emotionally mature um and are also compassionate loving type of person right it's it's not flighty type of energy. And then you have here the Six of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. So it's a win-win, success, rebalancing, reciprocal type of relationship. So it looks like towards the end, you would both realize that what you have put into this connection, this acquaintance type of connection, right? Or even in a relationship, what you have put in, you're exactly what you're getting back. Yeah, it's um, reciprocal. Yeah, how you feel about that person is exactly what they feel about you, or it's whatever you're feeling is reciprocated. Whatever you're doing is reciprocated. And the six of wands is success. So this could even be, especially for those of you marriage, if there was a proposal made, yeah, it could lead to a marriage, right? If you are meeting someone new. Yeah, and you're getting to know each other, you will get to a point where you realize that, yeah, we are on the same page. And there is real founded, grounded feelings here between each other. And that, yeah, we're, we'll head on. Yeah, We are good for each other. We make each other a better person. Let's do this. Yeah, so it could be uh, like a relationship type of thing. Now, this bothers me though. Okay. The Three of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands, the Strength. For some of you, this is saying that if you have been single for a while, or if you are a single individual, um, it may appear to someone, or somebody here who has been single for a while, um, It would appear to the other party that you may just want uh, to ignite the spark. But more so, they are not seeing how you truly feel. And that will give this person or whoever this is, either you Pisces, you may be a little bit more de in independent than uh, the other person is expecting, you know. And that they see that... Um, you're good with initial actions, but you're not really 
it's sort of you are holding back and expressing how you truly feel and they don't want that you know if you're heading for marriage if you're heading for a relationship you want more vulnerability yeah so if somebody here is that that definitely gives sadness to someone but I see here that that can also be spoken. That can be that could be part of you know this discussions here, conflict because somebody could be very independent and just wanting to have initial excitements can even be stubborn, yeah. And you know you may have expressed what you want to offer or there was an offer on the table, but it's not progressing. It's not being progressed upon, and that could lead to some sort of sadness, right? But I see here that there is love here for both parties. Yeah. But it is something that you need to uncover as you go. It is not something visible from the get-go. Right, Pisces, I'm going to leave it at that and let me know if this resonates in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe.